What's up everybody, it's Mod6 coming at you with another Call of Duty mobile video, but this one is different. I'm taking a hundred steps back right now. I've been playing on an iPad Pro 2020 11 inch for months now, and I started out on a 2018 iPad Pro 10 and a half inch. So I downloaded the game on my phone, Call of Duty Mobile, downloaded this game on my phone, early in April, I think, and I played a few games on the phone, obviously only thumbs starting out, but I mean, maybe by my 10th game, I switched immediately to iPad. I had an iPad already, I realized this game was awesome, and the natural inclination, if you have access to that kind of device is, I bet I play better on a bigger device where I can use more fingers easily. But the fact of the matter is that the vast majority of players of this game are thumbs players on a phone. One of the most special things about Call of Duty Mobile and mobile gaming in general is the worldwide access. With console, you gotta fork out $500 to be able to get that console, and the games are crazy expensive. You can play Call of Duty Mobile and most mobile games for free if you don't like pretty colors as much as I do. But here's the deal, we're going back to iPhone, back to only thumbs, and this is the start of the Let's Play series with Call of Duty Mobile, where we go from absolute square one, no fancy skins, no rank whatsoever. I don't think I've ever played a ranked game on this account. Ever. This is the account I use as basically a shooting dummy in demonstration videos for other stuff for the main account and how-to videos. And I'm gonna take this account straight to Legendary, playing only thumbs. So we're gonna start with figuring out the HUD, figuring out where these buttons are gonna go and what settings we should use. And then we're gonna jump right in to ranked games and see if we can grind this thing all the way up to Legendary. I don't have any guns leveled up. I don't have any skins, any attachments. I've only used a couple of weapons XP cards just to try and get to the point where this HG40 that I'll start with is even usable. So here we go. Let's play Call of Duty Mobile on a phone with just thumbs. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the Mod 5 account. I have never played a ranked match, I don't think, on this account. And so this is essentially a completely new account. It's free to play. I haven't spent a single dime on COD points, and I won't on this account. So this is going to be a true Let's Play series. No pay to win aspect whatsoever. We're going to check the loadout here. So I've got an HG40 and this is just because of the basic leveling that has happened from doing the games and, and like trying out the uh the heads up display and so that's that's it that's why i'm up to level 15 i think and have the uh, hg40 but that's about it i've only played some public multiplayer matches with this so with the hg40 loadout this is what i'm using this is all that I've really got available and it's just kind of my best crack at a loadout for right now. But uh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna jump into ranked play for the first time on this here in a second. That's the heads up display. We've got our ADS button and we're playing only with thumbs and so usually I'm just using ADS but the hip fire button is up top there. So I've got the choice between both of them. I am gonna up my sensitivity. You see I've got fixed speed. All right, so that's where we are at right now. We've got the sensitivity set. We'll see how it goes. I'm not using gyroscope. And so we're gonna get right into some rank play with this HG40 loadout. Rookie one, one out of 200. Let's play Call of Duty Mobile. All of these are locked, huh? Just Team Deathmatch, all right. First ranked game here, let's see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna run up top here. First kill in ranked. Oh. What am I doing? Struggling, struggling. Reloading, Reloading the prone, cause that's, this is ranked guys. Woo! It's just silliness, silliness. 
Learning how to play on a phone. Thumbs again. Doing okay, though. Alright. So try and get some control. Get get used to these new sensitivity settings. Felt pretty good about that. Use the UAV. Okay. We've got spawn on this side. Just throw the hunter killer up into the air. Hope for the best. In. Contact with enemy. I'm down. I gotta get my point of aim a little bit better here. I keep aiming down. Contact with enemy. This should be fun. Trying to get a rocket kill in my first ranked game. On this account here, but it looks like my teammates might be a little bit too good. Got him! That feels good, doesn't it? That feels right, doesn't it? Oh, and we die for the first time. I'm gonna get an indoor hunter killer. Oh, just missed. Daddy's not a pitcher. This is, uh... Wow. That was crazy, huh? Changing mag, cover me. Heavy inside. Yeah, we'll take that. Cover me. Woo! Got him. Got him. Phone feels pretty good right now. Recon standing by. Contact with enemy. Woo! That'll work. That'll work. All right, so that's the first ranked game. We got the victory. We got the MVP. We're one for one. Nice work. Well done, well done self. Going up the ranks from rookie one. Excited here. Just going straight in on him here. I mean, maybe these aren't bots, but but seriously. Contact with enemy. They have to be. They say they don't put bots in rank, but that just can't be true. Not at these levels. We're gonna let them chase me here. There we go. Felt pretty good about that. Gotcha. And the hunter killer. Little zigzag. Oh no! Got him! Yoink to kill. Woo! Just barely got that one. Just barely got that one. Oh, accidental. Wasting annihilator rounds. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. Easy. Easy. I think we're two for two on MVP here. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to rookie two and level 48. We're going to continue to use our weapon XP cards whenever we get the chance on this because the HG40, we're going all in on it right now. We're not going to be using the sight. The iron sights are great for the HG40. We do have the option for the MIP light barrel. I think that's going to replace FMJ. Still on team deathmatch. Let's get into our third match here. Wow. We're into the match and I got dropped in at a 13 to 14 deficit. Interesting there, that's okay. We'll be able to handle this just fine. 
Nice, nice. 2 and 0. 2 and 0. Feeling good about it. Saved a teammate there. You're welcome. You're welcome. Target's inside. Oh, we got a sweaty player. He's coming in with that slide. Oh, and our first death. All right, it's time to pull out the Annihilator, see if we can get something going here. That was a close one. Oh, that was a close one as well. Nice third game. That was a little bit closer than we would have liked. We got to pick up the skill here with these thumbs. And we are up to rookie three. Game number four. A little too close for comfort there. Contact with enemy. Changing mag. Woo! Ready for deployment. That was Cover a little me. bit rough. running down the middle here. Reloading. Cover me. Going back over. Waiting orders. Enemy contact. Feeling pretty good right now. Reloading. Oh, bad shot. We'll get it done there at the end. I'll take it. MVP 444. Just another day. Good job. And we are up to rookie four. One of the things that I'm realizing is that it's pretty difficult for me to be able to continue to run and slide and jump effectively with the heads up display the way it is now. So we'll have to think about where we put all of those buttons as we go forward. I want a little bit more practice with these and, and we'll see. We're gonna adjust some of the firing buttons right now. So those are adjusted pretty well. And then our run button, we're gonna bring up just a little bit here. I'm gonna make this prone button just a little bit bigger. It's at 143% right now. We're gonna bring it up. That should do it for our adjustments now, and we're gonna get right back into another ranked game. At rookie four. I lost game audio for these matches, but I still wanted to include them so you don't miss any of the games in this series. So as you see, when we go through this gameplay, there's no game audio. We've already fixed the problem, but again, I didn't want you to miss any of these games so that we get continuity all the way through the series. You see the climb from rookie all the way to legendary. You don't miss anything. We'll go through these games pretty quickly because without the audio, they're not as fun, but you'll see the results of each one. And then we'll be on to the next episode in the series on our way to legendary. What I'm doing in much of this game is really trying to get used to the HUD. That's the focus for the entire first set of games, is learn how to play a game with two thumbs. You see the buttons on the right are around the area where I steer my point of view, my aim with that right thumb. Those are the buttons that I'm going to be adjusting all the time.
That didn't go so well, did it? That is our first loss in ranked. At rookie. Let's get into another game. Something that I'm really trying to get used to as I go through these games, especially in the early part of this series, is turning quickly around corners and with two thumbs, it's much more difficult to change your profile as you come around these corners. You see me running around kind of blocky and deliberately, and that's because with thumbs, I'm not very well practiced at sliding, jumping, or even the basic drop shot yet. So you'll see that I hopefully get better at the, some of those skills over time here as we go through the games and climb the ladder. I'll absolutely have to improve on my movement with thumbs if I expect to get to legendary rank. That is a Definite. Easy wins. We are on to rookie five. Now in these games, you see me running right in on the enemy. And this is one of the areas that I'm really gonna be looking to improve on in the future. I need to be coming around these corners with much more speed with a slide or a jump. I need to plan those corners coming around much more deliberately because when I just stand in the doorway open like that, I open myself up to shots. It doesn't hurt me at these low levels in rank, but that's one of those things that I need to organize my buttons and plan my movement a little bit better only using thumbs so that I expose myself less to enemy shots. Need to get ourselves to veteran one before we can play domination matches. That's the goal for this first episode of Let's Play Call of Duty Mobile is try and go from rookie one to veteran one. We've MVP'd all but one matches for our team so far. And even though we've gotten some losses, getting points for every single game still. Hopefully this will be the game that gets us up to the next level up to veteran one. Oh, good trip mine. Good trip mine. Oh, couldn't turn. Now, as we go up the ranked ladder and we progress through these games, it's going to become even more important to improve on my movement and really work out my heads up display because we're about to open up domination, hardpoint, search and destroy, more complex game modes than just team deathmatch. And when a hardpoint, for example, comes into play, the way you enter the hardpoint and your movement really has to be much better so that you don't expose yourself to the enemy shots and, and die much more often. That's really going to be the focus for these next few games. On him. Oof. Getting intense. Sniper. Yeah. A little bit late with the call out there, buddy. And we are on to veteran one. Look at that rank up. You beat 43.7% of players in ranked. We are now in veteran one. We started this first episode in the series at rookie one. It is going to only get more difficult from here as we have to go all the way from veteran one into elite, then pro then master and then on to legendary we've got a ways to go here all right, that's it guys for the first episode of Let's Play Call of Duty Mobile. You see, we might have had some struggles early on, but we got some of the settings in the HUD, the HUD worked out with our button placement. We're using the HG40 for right now. We're gonna level up and focus on this gun initially, I think, but I don't know yet, that I'm gonna have some serious success with snipers and shotguns playing only thumbs. We'll get into that in some later videos. Thanks for checking it out. This Let's Play series is gonna go all the way to legendary. 
no matter how long it takes. Thanks for checking it out. And you'll see one of the videos on the screen here that's gonna help you improve your Call of Duty mobile gameplay. So click one of these videos, get better at the game, and join us for the next Let's Play video. Mod 6 out.